What's up? What's up, friends? Did you miss me? You're like, no, we didn't miss you. <laughs> we didn't miss you at all, Mango. What do you do? Why are you making another Lego video? Uh, what, what did I say? Oh, yeah, where was I? What's up? What's up, friends? It's time for the Lego Legacy. Lego Legacy? Lego Legacy. Le <sighs> Stop doing videos so long, I don't even know the name of the game anymore. Uh, Lego Legacy Heroes Unbox video. Oh, finally! I thought it would be forever since we actually, uh, okay. Anyway, we have some new units. We have some, uh, we have some changes to a lot of the current units, a lot of the space units, which I, yeah, you know, I was keeping my eyes on all the different changes I've been playing every day. It's not like I haven't been playing, uh, just playing casually, just doing my dailies, stuff like that. Not doing anything crazy. Um, we had some changes to... So we also had the the, uh, the gear change, gear 7, which we knew was going to come because there's all these things, these challenges here, where it's like, hey, by the way, we recommend, like, all this level 70, gear 7. It's like, we don't have that, so we know it's coming. Plus, Game Lost said, it's coming. So that's another, that's another way you know. Uh, so now we're going to have to spend incredible amount of resources to try to get all these things up to gear 7. We did the Officer Primo event. Oh, yeah, we do uh, finish Officer Primo. Um, I don't know if he's... Ne There's not a whole lot of resources to go around, so I don't know if we should really focus on upgrading him just yet. He's a tank unit that's five-star, so I'm like, he's gonna die a lot, isn't he? Uh, so anyway, uh, what else do we have? We ha Oh, yeah, the, the, the changes to a lot of these space units, changes to um, Paramedic Poopy, too. She's less poopy now. Paramedic Poopy. Um... <laughs> He's still calling Pyromatic Poopy, yeah. Uh, what else do we get to change to? I, I don't want to go over the changes just yet, because I want to actually play around with them a little bit more. I want to see these two new these two new units. Spaceman uh, Jens, I think is how you pronounce his name, because uh, I haven't actually taken a look at these two yet. Blacktron Astronaut Quincy. I think it's funny that like the Blacktron outfits totally changed. They, like, they were all black, and that's why they're Blacktron. And then they're like, we're gonna be totally different now. Um, but yeah, I think I mentioned that in my... I'm glad they added another classic one, another classic space. Classic space here and Blacktron. Uh, I wonder if they'll add more. They, they, they've got to add more throughout the course of time. They've got to still add more of these. Because there's not that many. There's two classic space units, right? There's no one else with a classic space tag aside from uh, Jens and Reed, I believe. So right, let's take a look at this. I'm glad though, because I have that classic space vehicle, I have it like completely maxed. So, I don't know why I have it completely maxed, I was like, this is gonna be good one day! When space becomes a thing, this is gonna be good. So, I'll max it now, in preparation for that. And hope I don't waste my resources, but now it's, that's great, because uh, there's some classic space synergy too. I don't think, where are we gonna get Yens? I don't remember if I read where we're gonna get Yens. Yeah, I don't think I know where we're gonna get Yens. Uh, anyway, what do we have here? Skill down. Okay. If the foe is 65% or less health, or as an attacker, they're inflicted with speed down two for two turns. Okay. Not bad for skill one. Um, skill two, Solar Flare. Uh, is he supposed to be like Swedish or Scandinavian, right? Because this is a Gerd dog. And his name is, uh, Jens. So I feel like he's supposed to be Swedish. I mean, it's Lego, right? So, maybe. Um, anyway, 150% damage to target foe inflicts Bricked. I love that icon! Inflicts Bricked for two turns, has 75% chance to inflict Hero Passive Block. Ooh! 5% bonus chance for each techie hero. At the start of the attack, if the foe's total number of buffs and debuffs has 6%. As uh, six plus buffs and debuffs, each other space hero has a seventy percent chance to have their ability. Yo, I really like this unit already. Uh, blast off. His first and second skills are already nice. Uh, One hundred twenty-five percent damage to target foe. Cause like when you go against any team, they got like a whole bunch of buffs, and they got you know, you're doing some debuffs to them. Um. 125% death. So that's already really good. But I mean they were they were they were planning on having like really solid space stuff for like the, the raids and stuff uh coming to the game. So 125% damage to target foe, 15 bonus damage for each foe that has stealth. Oh, so it's anti-ninjago. That's that's kinda it looks like the game plan. Reduce their pep. Isn't there another thing in here that's kinda anti-ninjago too? Uh, reduce their pet by 50%. All the foes with stealth have a 60% chance to gain two, three stacks of damage over time. Yeah, that's anti-Ninjago. Okay. 
Um, if this ability defeats the target, so you have a few things that are trying to be really strong against Ninjago. They make the Ninjago unit strong. They're like, hey guys, spend the money on the pirates units so you can farm the Ninjago units, and then we're gonna make the Ninjago units like the strong ones to get, and then we're gonna make these other things, Ghostbusters that are really strong against the Ninjago in the space that are strong against the Ninjago. After you just spent the money on the Ninjago and then spent the money on the pirates to get the Ninja, okay. It's just tip. It's typical. It's typical mobile gaming. It's not anything like anything different than anyone else does. This is a this is a nice unit though. Defeats the target foe. The foe cannot be reassembled. Wait, did I do the video talking about the buffs, uh, the new buffs and new skills that uh, Lego Legacy needs? Because that's actually one of the ones in the skills. Uh, I don't know. Cause Paramedic Poppy is insane. This is an amazing unit. This is a super good unit. I love this unit. I can't wait to. I want to say I can't wait to get him. I know. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be one of those. It's gonna be one of those things. I'm like, it's gonna be expensive, isn't it? Uh, start of the battle. Each space, um, space and techie hero gains 25% uh, max health and 25% defense for each classic space hero. Uh, all heroes get because Reed is already a pretty decent unit. Classic space hero. All heroes gain 5% speed. Uh, end of his turn. Yen has a 60% chance to clear one debuff from himself. 5% bonus chance. Uh, for each techie here, if Yen says no debuffs at the end of the turn, uh, isn't there already... I'm gonna take a look at that, uh, that space vehicle, but, uh, I think that there's already a thing for that that's kind of synergistic with this already. Uh, Yen says no debuffs at the end of the turn, is 50 Because I have it, but I just don't use the space stuff, because it's not... The, the, the space teams weren't good until now. Uh, no debuffs at the end of the turn, 50% chance to clear one debuff from another random space hero. That hero has no debuffs, they gain debuff immunity. That's so random. I like I like the other stuff. I like this more. I like this more than uh than that. And then what is this ult? Ult has inflicts all foes randomly with either vulnerable or debilitate, then deals 150% damage to random foes four times. Random is sometimes nice. Text ignore stealth and taunt. Well, it, it's random, so I assume that it already ignored taunt and stealth. Actually, because random, you're just gonna hit random. Uh, each foe inflicted with bricked, disarmed, or hero passive blocks 75% 75, 75 chance to infre increase its duration by one. I like this guy, yo. He is nice. Now let's take a look at the space vehicle. Galaxy Explorer. I mean, it's not max, it's not seven, but I was working on it, right? Um, this is just a skill up, and he's got a few, uh, he's got, yeah, the classic space. Explore heroes increase their speed by two at active, uh, per active classic space here, and have a 30% chance to gain. No, that's not the one I was thinking of. Um, yeah, this one, wherever a space hero deals damage to a target foe, there's a 50% chance to clear all buffs from that foe. Uh, no, no, that's not even the one I was thinking of either, but that's a nice, that's a nice skill too. That would be really nice if, you know, <laughs> It would be really nice if space was more of a thing. Space is more of a thing. Now I gotta not say that. Uh, Techie hero gets the debuff. There, no, we want. What was the one I was thinking of? This one, classic. It's the last one. Wherever a classic space hero gets a debuff, they have a 25% chance to clear all debuffs from themselves and a 40% chance to gain debuff immunity. So, and it's another classic. That's the thing. That's the, the synergy that I was talking about. Is uh, there's a cleanse here, and then there's a cleanse. Man, that's gonna be so good. That's gonna be so good. I really. They're inspiring me to spend money again, because I haven't spent money in forever uh, in this game. I've just been playing casually. But you know it's gonna be, it's not gonna be like a little bit of money. It's not gonna be like $50. It's gonna be like $300. And I'm gonna be like, nope, I'm not inspired to spend money anymore. You could have got me at 50. You could have got me at 50. Um, but yeah. Uh, he's a, this is a nice unit. Let's take a look at uh, the next one. Black John Quincy. Wait, what are the tags on? I know he's uh, space and classic space. He's also techie. Oh, he's okay. He's techie. Yeah, you know, I should have assumed that because he's got his little robot buddy. Um, but he's got some synergy with techies already, and there's some techies already. Like uh, who's a th who else is a techie? Clockwork robot. Uh, uh, what's his What's his face? Yeah, Clockwork robot is a techie. Yep. And then uh, what's his other bananas is a techie? What's, oh, what is, what's his, what's his bananas, my favorite monster? My favorite, uh, him, uh, Kartofsky. Which we have a whole lot of. And now we can actually upgrade Blacktron Dwayne, and it's not a complete waste, and now I don't feel, actually, Locust was never a waste. 
Lucas would never wait. Now I can feel even uh, feel better for using Gorwell. Because before it was like, Gorwell is so overhyped, and I'm like, I have Gorwell at a decent like star level. Gorwell six stars. And I'm like, I don't, I don't really, I don't see it. Like she's okay, but uh, well, actually, she Gorwell is the alien on top of the head. Deborah is the the girl, so she she would be Deborah. But Gorwell, I don't know. I always thought he was overrated. Like he's not super amazing top tier best unit in the game. People were saying that he is. I still I still didn't see it. Um, I mean, using it, trying to use it, I'm like, that's, that's not the best thing in the game. Because uh, otherwise you would see it, like, you would see it all over an arena. Because people, people spend the money for it, and you would see it more in, in, like, in the leaderboards if it was the best unit in the game. Now you're going to start seeing it, though. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, he would have been everywhere if he was, like, so OP as people were saying, right? That's just, like, where's, where's the proof? You know what I'm saying? Oh, bagel, uh, shooting, shooting, sh shooting, firing shots. Shooting fire shot. Okay, anyway, uh, reverse engineer deals 100% damage to target foe, reduces their pep for 5% for each buff they have, up to a maximum of 5. Target has prepared, cleared, and afflicted disarmed. Target foe has no buffs at the start of this attack. Buff immunity for two turns. I like Yen's better. Uh, what's this? 120% damage to target foe for each buff on the target foe. Quincy heals all heroes for. For each buff on the target foe, Quincy heals all heroes for 5% of their max health. And uh, he is a so oh he's a support okay. Uh, max health up to seven buffs. Space heroes with eighty percent or more health gain max health up. Uh, if Quincy has skill up, uh, heal block two on the target for two turns. I mean there's new there's new uh, debuffs too. Uh, for each debuff Quincy has, uh, he gains ten percent, which they were already talking about before. They were already talking about the new debuffs. They were like oh yeah we're gonna do this we're gonna do that. So it's not anything new that we haven't known before. 10% uh, grit. Uh, start of the turn. Quincy has 50% chance to gain skill up for two turns. Uh, Quincy zero debuffs on him. That chance is 100%. I like the other one better. I like Yen's better. I mean, he's okay. He's just a support unit. But I like uh, Yen's does a lot of cool, cool new stuff. This is this is the unit that I'm excited for. You know, you know it's gonna be expensive. This is one that they're gonna be like, hey, we're gonna give you an event. You're gonna get him. This is gonna be nice. I'm gonna get him three stars. And you can be able to use him. Four stars. Four stars. Four stars. Uh, you gonna be able to use him, and you can't use him at max level. And then this one's gonna be like, yeah, open. Well, they're probably both gonna be open the wallet events, aren't they? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I didn't see where they're actually specifically, uh, specifically. And then we have uh, specifically gonna use him. This one, which is actually, yeah, let's just uh, try out a subscription. This is like a decent, uh, decent pack thing. But what's uh, what's the price on it afterwards? Didn't they say ten dollars or something like that? Clockwork robot pack. Do we need clockwork robot? I don't know why I'm even asking. I'm like, I haven't been spending money on the game. So that would be that. That's the answer right there. Do we need a clockwork robot? What uh, anything new? We already had. Did we already have York in here? I know York was from the event, but I don't know if we had him in the gem shop. I know Castaway is new here, and then what else is the other? What else is? Yeah, it's just Castaway. Just Castaway in the Brick Expedition, and then nothing new here, and then. Zombie and Spooky Girl are new in the guild shop, aren't they? Because I know they I know they mentioned in patch notes or something like that. What else is new here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Something new. Oh, Scarlet is new here. Yeah, Scarlet wasn't here before, right? Yeah, Scarlet's new here. Yeah, let me, <laughs> let me pick some of those up. Uh, yeah, let me pick some of those. We don't need, we we don't even need anything else from here, right? I mean, maybe Blacktron Dwayne, Blacktron Dwayne and Scarlet. We have everything. Yeah, we have everything else. I'm not getting private quite. We don't need that. Uh, Scarlet. That's what we need. That's what we need. Nice. It's a little too late for that though, isn't it? <laughs> like Pico finally getting Scarlet. Yeah. Too late for her though. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how it goes. Anyway, uh, pretty cool. I really like Jens. Uh, that's it for the video. I just wanted to take a look at these two new units. I really like Jens. You know, give my opinion on them. But um, 
Uh, yeah, I wish there was more gameplay though every day. Again, like I really wish, I don't know, I, I won't be negative. We'll end it on a positive note. I won't be negative. Uh, hopefully there's a lot more fun new content, especially PvP. I, I, I wish they would give us some more arena to do some more arena uh, every day instead of just the five. That's what I gotta say. And then maybe, maybe, game off just one more minute to the timer. I'm just saying, one more minute to the timer. All I need sometimes is one more minute. <sighs> maybe I'm just too stupid to play. I don't know. One more, just six minute time. No, they're not gonna do that. Anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about these uh, these new units. Yes, is better. Don't at me, bro. Don't. I'm, no, that's not up for discussion. That's not up for discussion. Anyway, uh, that's for this one. I'll see you as always. In I'm gonna go grind, uh, upgrade some of my gear uh, on some of my my core teams, and then do some arena. Anyway, that's for this one. I'll see you as always in the next one.